Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Reese right now. I'm your host, Reese, and right now we're making burgers. Before you start, you're gonna wanna wash your hands really good because um, we're gonna be touching food with your bare hands and you wanna make sure that you're not getting any germs in your hands. And also, if you have long or hair, then I would, I would recommend putting your hair up so that your hair doesn't get into the food. So, um, I'm gonna go over what you guys are gonna need for this, not just burgers, but for like a full meal. So I'm gonna go over the list for just burgers really quick and then I'm gonna do the rest of the things. So if you're making burgers just like me, you're gonna need meat that's about this size. I don't know how much it is, but about that size. And then you're also gonna need some hamburger seasoning. What It doesn't really matter like what, like you guys can decide if you guys want like garlic powder, garlic salt, salt, pepper, whatever you want. This is kind of, it has a little bit of everything. Um, so I mean, I don't really need to put anything else but this. But I made, I made one so that you guys could see what it looks like. After you got the hamburger seasoning, you're going to, you're gonna need any toppings you want. So that includes um, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, anything. You're gonna wanna get that out. Hamburger, hamburger seasoning, cheese. Cheese of your choice, it can be whatever type of cheese you want. Buns, doesn't matter what kind, just as long as they're hamburger buns. If you want seeds or no seeds. I have lettuce right here, it's already cut up. And um, if you guys want anything else like tomatoes or something, get that out. So. Now, we're going to go over the things that aren't needed for hamburgers, but they're just to make the meal a little bit better. So, the first thing is baked beans. So, I actually don't like baked beans, but the rest of my family does, so I'm making these for them. And then, we also have some chips. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but um, chips, um, so that... Um, it just makes the whole meal better. And you can get whatever type of chips out um, that you like. First, you're gonna wanna get like a plate out, kinda just like this just a plate. And you're gonna put on like, um, then you're gonna cover it in wax paper, foil, whatever, whatever you want. Um, you're gonna cover it in that. Once you've done this, we are now ready to get started with the actual burgers. So, this part especially you want to have your hair up and your hands washed. Cause this part you're touching raw meat and many germs can get into raw meat. So make sure you wash your hands. I washed my hands before the video and so now I'm ready. I'll give you guys a second to do that. If you wanna pause the video, that's fine too. Okay, so now let's do the burgers. So, we're going to basically just take about this much, probably works. Now, when you're doing this, it's really delicate. You don't wanna try to play with it or try to pack it in tight. You kinda just wanna kinda do it almost carelessly. So you don't really have to think about it much. So, kind of, just kind of flatten it out. I mean, it really all depends on what you specifically want your burgers to be like, but if you're making them like my mom does, then you're gonna want them to be like this. Which, yes, my mom likes very good burgers, so I would assume you would wanna make them this way. So, this is probably about good. Looks good to me. Now, the next part you're gonna wanna touch, you're gonna be touching your seasoning. Now, you have raw meat on your hands. So, it's gonna be a little gross feeling. Now, when you're touching the seasoning, you don't wanna get raw meat on it. You don't wanna put too much or too little. Just make it so, how about this? Make it so it tastes good. 
that's about good. That's about how much seasoning I put in there. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this three more times. Just make sure you have enough space. If they overlap like just a little bit, that's okay. They don't need to be perfect burgers. Like I said, carelessly do it. Don't need to think about it too much. If you overthink it, you might make it too flat, not flat enough. So just don't even think about it, just do it. Like it really just depends on what you want. There's many different ways to like make burgers, but this is just the way I make them. So yeah, that's about good. What do you think? All right, that was a little smaller, but flatten it up a little bit. All right. Now I'm gonna make two more, and if you guys are still confused about it, rewind the video, watch it as many times as you need to so that everything makes sense. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. And also, I, maybe I forgot to mention, they don't have to be perfect circles. They can be a little off, that's fine. It doesn't matter, as long as it tastes good. Okay, so now I'm gonna give these to my mom um, for the grill um, so that she can grill them. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I think they're just about done. Okay guys, now we're gonna get started with the rest of the meal. So, now that we've done the burgers, we're going to get ready for the burgers to come out. So we're going to take a wet paper towel and wipe down um, this area so that we can put our um, ingredients on here. Okay guys, so we're actually out of paper towel. So you guys can just use a regular towel like this. Just make sure that if you're using the same towel for this and your hands, switch it, switch your towel out after you've used it for this because it's not very sanitary. Okay guys, now we're ready and let's get everything ready. So first you're gonna take your buns. Now, if you want your buns to be crispy and stuff, then you guys can try grilling them. Just take it like this, put it on the stove or grill and kind of just let it sit there for a second and it shouldn't take too long even at all. Okay, so we're gonna lay our burger out like so. Now, where we have three people eating today. Me, my sister, and my mom. I did make five burgers though for anyone who wants extras. Okay, and it's okay if you get some crumbs on your table. You can clean it up. So, if you can make a meal, you can clean it up. So, I recommend putting them um, all the bottoms in this row, and then all the tops on this row so that it's easier. So you're gonna get, um, we're just, I'm just gonna leave these out so that when you come up, you know, you walk up, you get your burger, you put it down, and then you put on any toppings you want. And then after you put on any toppings you want, you can close your burger up and put it on a plate. So now, We're going to get some plates. I'm actually going to get paper plates, but if you guys wanna get actual plates, then that's fine too. Okay guys, so I got the paper plates. I'm just gonna put them here. And then let's kinda of set this up so that when you walk in, you can put your burger, add your stuff, close it, grab your chips, and leave. So let's do it this way. Hey Reese, can I have the cheese for the burgers? Sure. You guys can just have either Kobe Jack cheese or you can have any other cheese you want. Slice them about this thick or you guys can use American slices as well. So, 
Let's get our little station set up. Hey guys, so I got ketchup, mustard, and relish. Like I said, you guys can use whatever toppings that you want. These are just the ones that we like. Now we're all ready for the burgers to come. So we're going to be making our baked beans next. So you're gonna get a pot out about this size, a little bigger, a little smaller, won't hurt. But you don't need a big one. Trust me on that one. Okay guys, so we're gonna just, we're gonna open your baked beans. And we're gonna just flex some of that out. You don't need to do this, just, I mean, it's helpful. I'm gonna have my mom help me with this really quick and you guys might need your mom to help you too. Also guys, a tip for your burgers. My mom let them sit out for a little bit. It's just how you use any other meat. Mm -hmm. Now that she's got the baked beans open, we're going to carefully put them inside our pot. Make sure you get every baked bean. Don't wanna waste them. Oopsies. Try not to do that, guys. There we go, that's better. That can reach back there. Okay, all done. Another safety tip, always have the handle away from you because you can, when you have it like this, you can accidentally do this. And from there, I think you can imagine what would happen. I don't think I need to illustrate it anymore. So, now, this you might need parent help with. So you're going to turn your burner on to about six. If you've never done this before by yourself, then obviously check with your parents to make sure that you can do it by yourself. Now you're gonna wanna cook this for about, just till it gets warm, I guess. And also one of these will definitely help. Okay guys, make sure you take the top off every once in a while and just kind of stir it a little bit. Also, I didn't tell you guys this, I turned the heat down to more like two. I thought it was six, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> they look about done. Yeah, no.